Michelle from Jasami Publishing with another broadcast of Jasami Bookworm Podcast. And I am so excited today because we have phenomenal news about a new release, which always gains such great excitement. And of course, I'd love to welcome Paul Wondrum. Thank you, Michelle. Megan Waldrum. Thank you, Michelle. It is a dynamic brother and sister team that have made this book so phenomenal. So thank you for joining us on the podcast. And uh, I think we have to have a drum roll where somewhere along the line da, 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 <laughs> to say on June the 21st. Yes, June 20th. Summer solstice. What's yes. happening on that particular date? That is when my heavy double Demon Sphere book release. Excellent. Congratulations. We have to give that a round of applause, yes, you know, like and it. I know you will out there. Um, I I know you wrote it, and, and that's a key part. Yes. However, Megan has been a very key part around the entire processing of the book and putting it together and such, and has worked so phenomenally with uh, Jasami Bookworm as, well, Jasami Publishing, as you have. Uh, first... I know you haven't actually quite, the book's due shortly and you're going to hold it in your hands. Yes, just waiting for that feeling, yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> wow, wow, um, a few years ago I couldn't have imagined that, no, it's just, honestly, it's just an absolute dream come true, it really is, yeah. And that's the thing is that when we, you know, when a dream does come true with an author and obviously Megan you've been working on this for a long time along with Paul and uh, you're the secret weapon in the background because you're very savvy when it comes to all of the you know the book work and the software and all of the other things so uh, tell me how excited are you? I, I'm so excited Paul has been working on this for so long and just to see it all come together and to and really finally have it in our hands it's just going to be an amazing feeling. When, I have to admit, when you hold that in your hands and there is that feeling of, oh my God, this is my first publication, how wonderful it is. So Paul, exactly how long has this process been? Uh, the process, well, initially when I first started writing Demon's Fair, it was actually during the pandemic. That's when I, first, I started the first day in the original draft. Then after things started to open up again, that's when I brought it to Jasami J- Publishing Consultancy to help me with self-publishing. So, I mean, this has been a good two, three years now, you know, in the making. It's been a long process, but it's been a good creative process and, you know, it's changed me for the better. Well, to be fair, Paul, I have to say that there are famous authors that have written books that have taken 10 years for them to actually, you know, from the beginning to the end, they've produced other works in between. So, you know, three years, but three years of devotion for your first. Now, you have written other... uh, Nonfiction yes. history. Tell yes. us a little bit about that, please. Yes, I've written uh, four local history books um, mm-hmm. based in my hometown of Paisley. Um, you know, medieval Paisley, the historic West End, Robert Tannehill, the famous Paisley poet, and also um, Jasami have also helped me put together a trilogy with those books as well, which has been really, really good. You know, I've been, been doing that in between uh, Demon Sphere as well. So yeah, so I put quite a few things out there. So you know. <laughs> Yeah, so just well, enjoying the creative process. I like to be prolific, so. <laughs> <laughs> and they always feed on each other because it's the history background that actually supported the novel that you've written. Yes, yes, there's historical aspects and a very, very twisted historical aspects. It's, you know, it's a fictionalised history, but um, there's, there are, um, there's a certain event in this book that takes place which actually did take place in Glasgow. <gasps> Hmm. Oh, see, that that's what we call a little bit of a, ooh, drop, ooh, want to read it <laughs> yes. now, seriously. Um, I'm delighted to say that uh, it will be available after the release date on Amazon. Yeah. It's available for pre-order now if you want to get it on the Jasami website, which will be um, linked on uh, the description for this podcast. Yeah, it's a really good deal, guys, on Jasami. Go and get it. You'll get it pre-ordered. It's a really good deal you're getting. Excellent. Yes, because there is a deal, obviously, on the 21st. Uh, the deal kind of goes away, but it'll still be a great price considering today's economic situation. Absolutely. Now, not to be t- too, you know, I know you wrote the book. However, there is the background support foundation. Absolutely. All right, Megan, this is your opportunity <laughs> to shine. And I have worked with you, and I have to say your knowledge of you know, software, your determination to make things work when challenges come through, 
Where does that come from? It was just the determination to just keep going because I seen all the hard work Paul put on on his end and I wanted to just kind of make sure that we got that final product. So it was just keep motivation to keep going and to not get bet by software packages. <laughs> yes, we won't mention them because we don't want to cause any, uh, yeah, a worldwide economic issue with it. But, but anything can be overcome when, you, when, yes, if you bash your head against the brick wall hard <laughs> enough and then stop and take a break and have a cup of tea and then inspiration. <laughs> yes. <laughs> does come. What did you enjoy most about this process? I enjoyed more kind of it was improving my own learning as well because I kind of had an idea of what to do but at the same time there was so much more to learn and it was all those kind of challenges that just kind of followed my learning which means I can keep helping Paul and supporting him. Couldn't have done it before, honestly, could not have done it before. <laughs> well, I always think it takes a great team. We've got a great team at Jasami yes, working absolutely. on different projects. So that's elemental to what we do. And it really is important to say, oh, yes, it's a team that makes it work. It's not just, you know, a, a single person, you know, that writes, produces, and such, edits. There's too many parts to publishing a novel that people need to be involved in. Uh, so I'll put you on the spot. Uh, Paul, first, your biggest challenge three years? Biggest challenge is definitely the, the editing process. That was definitely my, my, my biggest challenge. It was getting back and forth. And sometimes you're kind of stubborn. You want you don't really want to change things. But uh, with Douglas Ahara, he kind of showed me the way, I'm pretty sure, you know, to make this a much better novel. He, he brought out the better novel in the actual book, you know. That's excellent mm. because that's an editor's job. It's not about writing it for you. It's about making you the best writer that you can be. Absolutely, yeah. A and Megan, your biggest challenge? My biggest challenge was fighting with the software packages and having everything sitting where it should be sitting on the page. <laughs> and when it wasn't playing ball, it was it was frustrating. But like Michelle said, kind of walking away from it, cup of tea, going back to it, and then just persisting with it was the main thing. Mm -hmm. And just not not giving up on it. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, it is because, as I often say to all of the interns and everyone I work with, a problem is an opportunity in disguise. Yes. And even though it's a problem, once you get overcome that problem, because we always do, then you learn the intricacies for next time. Yeah. Yes. Which is wonderful because it, sometimes, and Megan will know this, the simplest answer is what should come to the forefront. Too bad we didn't have a five-year-old on the team, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> but that's part of publishing. You know, it, it comes from getting the ISBN numbers, as you know, yes. and being professional, self-publishing. Although you're self-publishing, it is actually a publishing organization now because you've got more than one book. So yes. you're, you're actually the organization for publishing now. And um, We've enjoyed working with you so much and, and look forward to it in the future. Oh, likewise, definitely. Because yes. it's always about uh, learning from each other and understanding the publishing process, which I think, what was, what was the biggest surprise to you, Paul, about the publishing process? Definitely, uh, must have been when it when it has been numbers and things like that. I just no clue how that worked at all. <laughs> you know, <laughs> how do you get out there? How do you get out there more? How do these go to bookstores? How does this go into Amazon? I just had no no idea about that. You know, before that we would um, when I was doing my, my first set of the books, I was just kind of like sort of kind of going to a local printer and printing them for me at first. You know, so yeah. It, that's the difference mm. between it, you know having a project and then being professionally published as you are now an author and now you are obviously Megan the um, marketing whiz because you deal with the social media and the software whiz because you deal with all of the programs you've overcome everything what have you enjoyed most about the uh, social media aspect on social media just kind of getting posts out there and just kind of seeing the engagement rates and watching how many followers that interact with us it's brilliant because it just feels like should have a community as well, kind of all the local kind of offers that link up with us, that you link up with them, and it's it's brilliant. Just it's another world out there. It is absolutely. Um, social media gives you the opportunity to interact personally with you know with people. Uh, social media, obviously, it's an integral part of society now. That's how everybody finds out about books. You know, they can go in, buy the book, read it, and say, "Oh yes," and then word of mouth will will spread for that. 
and you're very good at social media because you've done the you know the cover reveal yes and what about the design aspect have you enjoyed that I've absolutely loved that I've loved sitting with designs kind of thinking up ideas and going can I do this trying it sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it comes out a lot better than I expected which is just great because it's kind of looking at all these kind of online softwares as well to get the book out there and to promote and using all these app apps it's brilliant it is, and that's the thing is that with um, and software uh, programs, as you well know, yeah. you know, within six months, what we have is not quite obsolete, but there's always something yes. new and creative coming along. Uh, <clears throat> the great part about you, Paul, is that you get to create the world. Yes. You know? Yes. Uh, it's amazing seeing this vision come to life now. You know that's a, you know. And the characters now, um, we don't want to do a reveal, but. And there's, you know, there's main characters, you know, your protagonist and such and other ones. Yes. Do you have a favourite? I do, yes. It's definitely got, got to be the sort of kind of saviour of the story, yes. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. see? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you'll just have to buy the book and find out who <laughs> <Yes>. it is. <laughs> now, this will not be your last book, will it, Paul? No, it will not be, no. No, I've got another idea in the in motion as well. I have another idea that I got during the pandemic as well, so I'm just going to work that from rough draft. It's pretty much a skeletal piece of now, you know, it's like, a, you know, and then I think of like a book now, it's like archaeology, you dig up and you kind of get to the bare bones and, you know, you just sort of excavate as you go. So, very, very rough drafts just now, but um, yeah, we have got another idea. And absolutely, you don't want to, um, you know, give away too much. And when you're in the creative process and just creating the characters, that's one place to be. And you do not want to have that overshadow the book coming out now. No, You know, true. writers yes. do mm -hmm. look towards the future, but I'm a big believer in enjoying the Present. now. Yes, absolutely. You know? yeah. And mm -hmm. um, you actually have, there's going to be a book signing, which will have information on that on the website and through Instagram shortly. We don't want to re reveal that just now. But you will actually be doing a book sign, giving yes. people the opportunity to buy the books. Yes. So this is the point where I ask you, Paul, what advice would you give to someone who, you know, they've got a book, mm, what should I do with it? Oh, can I self-publish? What is your advice? Yeah, if you, if you feel it's time for, for if you feel self publishing is right for you, then yeah, definitely go for it. If you want to see your you know, your dream come to life, then definitely yeah, have just try and have the confidence in yourself to go for it. Yeah, and and that is important, you know, and to be careful, you know, who you approach. Not necessarily, you know, not not just just I mean, we do offer that benefit, but someone might be from, you know, a different part of the world because this actually does go out. Uh, but uh, we're here obviously to work with self-publishing authors that's yes. what you know we've set up a division for it we want to make sure that no one is taken advantage of yeah. you know in the position because sometimes other companies that we shall not name do do that but we are here to assist if that's possible um, and the importance of it is that with self-publishing and working on publishing yourself What's the proudest moment you have? Your ownership of, of it? Doing it my own way. Doing it all my own way. Just total freedom. That's it. You know, and that, and that's the best thing for any writer. Pretty much freedom over everything, which is really, really good. You know, you can't say you want more than that. That's very true because when someone does, you know, it, it's great, you know, to, to sign a big deal, you know, with one of the big companies. However, you do sell the story to them, so you yes. sell all your rights to them, you have all your own right. rights. Yes, that's it, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and of course, Megan, you've got your own rights too, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which should be listed in there. <laughs> we, you will not be the unsung hero, we will make sure not that so. you're out there kind <laughs> of thing. Uh, so uh, last piece of advice which you've given to them, Megan, what would you advise you would give to someone who wants to support a writer? To not give up. Sometimes it can get hard, it can be frustrating, your ideas for something might not work. I mean, there was about 70,000 files saved on my laptop of ideas that didn't <laughs> work. <laughs> but you just need to keep powering through it because you're going to get there in the end. And once you get there in the end, it's that feeling of it's done. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait now. The sense of accomplishment. Yes, 100%. You both have. 
yeah. you know, and, and a dynamic brother and sister team working together, you know, and I'm delighted to say they haven't killed each other yet, so <laughs> yeah, that's no, no, absolutely no. phenomenal. That's a book in itself, Michelle. You <laughs> 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 make some good ideas from that. <laughs> uh, so as uh, we'll come to the end of the Jasami Bookworm podcast, I would like to put people on the spot and the shout out to... So this is your time for your shout out, Paul. Who are well, you going to do it to? I haven't done it yet, and so she's probably been good. I haven't. Uh, my partner Lindsay and the three kids, Ben, the Hopin's guy. So that's uh, the first time I've managed to can get a shout out to them. So. But you've saved the best for last. Yes. So see, that's the important part. That's it. Yeah. Um, Megan, who would you like your shout out to? I'd like to give my shout out to my little brother Joseph, who has been so good when I've been sitting like on my software and I don't know how to do something. Joseph always somehow has an idea and an answer. It's always try this. Sometimes he doesn't get it right, but it gets me closer to what I was looking for. Yeah, Excellent. Good. That's wonderful. And my shout out is to all of those uh, writers who do wish to self publish, even if it's not through Jasami. Find someone who's reputable, who will help you. Don't give up the dream. The shout out is to don't give up the dream. So I thank you for joining us on the Jasami Bookworm podcast. Don't forget to check out our website for Demon's Bear. It's a great novel, and you can pre-order now. And as always, I wish you a sunny day. Mm -hmm.